Welcome to the South Adams County Water and Sanitation District. I'm Jim Jones, the District Manager. Today we're standing in front of our Klein Water Treatment Facility. This facility treats the drinking water for the Commerce City, Colorado area. Current population of Commerce City is approximately 66,000 residents. The district just celebrated its 70th anniversary. For that 70 years, the district has had very hard water and it was determined in 2017 that the community wanted to find a solution to soften the water and provide a higher quality water to its customers. Because pellet softening is fairly new in the United States, there was limited engineering expertise on this. Uh, we did a search, uh, did an RFP process, and found that Corolo had the most experience with pellet softening in the United States with some of the projects that they'd worked on in California. Um, so we hired Corolo Engineering to do the design and construction management of the project, teamed them up with Moltz Construction, uh, did the project as a CMAR project to, uh, one, make the design quicker and, 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 and easier to do working with the contractor, and also making that partnership early on in the process to make it a successful project. One of the things to recognize about South Adams County is they get and purchase some water from Denver Water as well as this localized groundwater source. And there's always been a very large disparage between the hardness of the local groundwater, which is about 380 milligrams per liter, and the hardness of Denver water. This facility can take that 380 milligram per liter hardness, reduce it down to that 115, and provide it to its customers. So I'm standing here next to the pellet reactor at South Adams County. This is one of three reactors with a total combined capacity of 14 million gallons a day. The way this reactor works is hard water comes in the bottom, gets distributed through an underdrain system, and comes up through a chemical grid we call a chandelier. That's where chemicals are added, caustic soda, which raises the pH of the water, and then it comes through the pellet bed. We start with a seed pellet of 0.3 millimeter, and we grow it to a 0.9 millimeter pellet before we withdraw it and send it over to the hopper. Once the water passes through the pellet bed, the hardness drops from 380 milligrams per liter down to about 60 milligrams per liter. One of the benefits of the pellet softening process is it creates a 98% solid pellet that free drains very easily and dewaters so that it can be hauled away and used for a lot of different potential beneficial use applications, such as feeding to livestock, because they need calcium in their diet, can be distributed on fields to raise the pH of the soil, and also can be used in a lot of different admixtures to lighten concrete, masonry block, and a number of different things. So it makes the process very affordable, very compact, and it all can fit within a temperature controlled environment. Uh, we started this project uh, April of 2019 and finished it June of 2021. We were successful in bringing it on online on time, uh, what we consider on time and on budget because the team worked in a collaborative approach. A lot of technology involved, but we feel that uh, that technology has helped us reduce personnel costs by not having to be staffed uh, 24 hours a day. Part of the contract was um, that the engineer Corolla would come in and operate the system for a period of two weeks and prove that it um, would operate as designed. Corolla was able to come in and perform the components of the performance guarantee and also provide uh, staff uh, direction on optimization of the facility during that time. I've had the opportunity to work for the district for the last 30 years and during that time we've accomplished a lot of great things including acquisition of water resources, addressing environmental challenges, but the one thing that we weren't able to do is to soften the water and improve the overall quality for our customers. This project has allowed us to do that and met a, a, a big need of the community and, and greatly improved the quality of this water for the community of Commerce City. South Adams County was forward thinking to select a technology that hasn't been used in the United States very often to deliver both the water quality requirements that they wanted at the cost that their customers could afford. Corolla is proud to be part of the team to deliver that project and water quality.